If you have seen season three of Dream Home Makeover, you've met Mary Daniels. Mary is incredible. And the second you meet her, she is as wonderful in person as she seems on the show. This home has answered a lot of prayers for a lot of people. And I'm hoping that Studio McGee answers mine. We are looking for a miracle. She does so much for the community. And when she applied to be a client on the show, we accepted the project. We were going to be doing her bedroom. And within a couple of days, her home burned down. This was devastating for us all. And she spent months working with the insurance company to be able to rebuild the home. She kept calling it my cottage. So that's what she wanted. We were going to be doing just the bedroom furniture, but I couldn't help myself. After all of this had happened and all that she gives, we wanted to be able to give her more. So we worked with Target on this show. And as you know, I have this pretty great Target collection. I mean, I think it's pretty great. And it was the perfect opportunity for us to work together with Target to be able to furnish the ground floor of the home. She had no idea this, this was coming. I just said, maybe we can give you a little more. I don't know, I'll see if I can call in some favors. We worked to make the most of the small footprint of her floor plan. And I am really excited about how it turned out because I think that you don't have to have a dedicated entryway to get an entryway. And you don't have to have a dedicated office to have an office space. With her home, you see you walk in and she had a window with a little wall space under it. And by creating a moment, this vignette with a console table, a lamp, an ottoman and some styling, it feels like you have that greeting moment when you walk into the space. When we first talked, she talked about wanting a sectional and I just knew that if we gave her a sectional, it was going to block off the entire entrance to her home. And I wanted people to walk in and want to be able to walk in further. And that's part of feeling invited into someone's home is having a floor plan with your furniture that allows them to just come in and sit down. So we did a sofa that faces the fireplace and two lounge chairs. The dining table. She really wanted um, a dining table and there was only one spot for it. And so we created a little moment for a bookcase. One of the things I like to pay attention to is levels in a room. And when you have everything at this height, which is like your sofa, your console table, your desk, everything is like 30 to 36 inches high. Okay, we gotta get you some height in this space to draw your eye up. And so this was the perfect place to show her knickknacks and things that she likes to collect. One of the biggest ways to create um, some separation between the spaces is to give every space its own light fixture. And that could be a chandelier over the dining table, or it could be a table lamp in the desk or the entry area, or it could be a floor lamp in the living room. But you see that that way in the evening, you can just turn on that accent light. You create that glow in just that one area. And I feel like it helps distribute the light throughout the room as well. She wanted a cozy cottage. So I really wanted to think about how we made her home feel that way. And she has these windows throughout and the ceilings were only eight feet. And so I realized that if we could dress all of the windows to the ceiling, we'd raise your eye up. And I didn't want to do white drapes. She loved white. She was like, I love everything light and white and, and cream and a little bit of gray. I'm like, okay, yes. But to give you some of that coziness, let's give you a little bit of depth. So we found this cute window pane fabric and we did that on all of the window treatments. And I feel like that really, really created that coziness she was after. And you'll see throughout, we mixed the wood tones. And I think that going with kind of that high contrast of a light wood tone and a dark wood tone, and then we didn't really mix any other wood tones into that. It allowed us to have those rooms kind of have, just not feel all one note. And um, if you're doing, trying to mix wood tones in your own home, I would say make it feel intentional by really making those wood tones feel distinct or keep them 
a really, really tight pallet. You had to kind of either go this way or you'd keep it really, really tight. In Mary's bedroom, we could fit a queen bed and two small nightstands. And so we decided to dress those windows in a white linen to just keep it soft and airy in there and then dress the bed with layered linens, a little bit of pattern mixing on the textiles and adding that quilt into this space, but keeping it simple and really creating um, that focal point with the headboard and the nightstands made all of the difference. To know Mary is to love her. And if you haven't had the chance to check out her episode on Netflix, go do it. It'll probably make you cry. Um, and hopefully some of these tips that we've shared with you today will work in your own home.